Welcome to day 20 of my 100 days of Wafla journey. Today we're gonna go over a swiper slider that moves my latte animation to a certain percentage every time I scroll. So this was based off an idea that I found on one of the clonables on the Wafla library. I've been working on this all day today, breaking this down, understanding how it was built, and I wanted to share this with you all. Basically, what I'm doing here is moving the slotty animation to a certain percentage. Every time I scroll, it goes basically 25% plus. And every time I scroll backwards, it just goes 25% minus. We're gonna look at how this was built, uh, break it down, and I will leave the clonable for you in the description below. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and uh, let's get to this. Okay, so what we have here is a Lottie animation that moves to a certain percentage every time I scroll. So if I scroll up, it goes backwards, and if I scroll down, it goes forward. And uh, that's basically done through Swiper.js. So Swiper.js is a library, uh, swiper.js.com. If you go, it's a library of sliders. You can find nice sliders here, uh, very cool stuff. You can read the docs and see how you can build with this. So I'm using a normal event uh, on event slider. So basically I am changing my slider on click and then I gave the triggers of the Lottie animation using Webflow interaction, mouse click element trigger. So basically step one going in is a mouse click. So when I click and that's how it's going to the 25%. So here it's going to 25%. And uh, I have four of those, you know, going from zero to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, 75 to 100. And then I have four of those going backwards. So I have next and previous. And then I have built, of course, the Lottie animation is a fixed position. And then I have my swiper sliders in a fixed position as well on the page. And then I have five sliders that's um, 0, 25, 50, 7500. And I am changing those on a mouse wheel um, position. I also have a keyboard true position. So basically I am going to the next slider. Every time I want to go to the next slider, it's clicking on front trigger the next active slide. So if, it's, if I'm on slide two, it's just going clicking on the front trigger number three and so on and so forth, and it's doing that backwards as well. Now, this is, like, this can be modified more. I am just using a simple version. I've been working on this all day today, and um, it's pretty cool what you can do with this. There's a lot more that can be done here. So Swiper.js is a nice library. And uh, finally, to give credits to the creator, this was based on fly reel scroll snapping clonable on Webflow. So you can find this clonable on Webflow. It's by Timothy Rex. Shout out to Timothy Rex. Thank you for all the things that you do for this community. Uh, so you see here, it's, it was built here. I uh, inspected this further and, and found out more about how this was made. I mean, this was way more complicated than what I have here, but uh, it follows a similar idea. Uh, I will leave this clonable for you under the link. You can check it out and uh, play around with it and let me know what you can make Thank you for watching this video. I really hope I taught you something today. I'm gonna work around more with this animation and make more out of this project. But since this is a journey of 100 days, every day I'm just sharing with you what I learned or what I explored through this 100 days. And then later on, you can apply this on your own. Stay tuned on day 21 tomorrow and see you tomorrow.